morning, Gilcrest Grizzlies, and welcome to Grizzly AM, your morning news show. I am Addison. And I am Cooper. Today is Wednesday, February 8th, 2023. It is a special area day one. It is media rotation. I repeat, it is a media rotation. Please stand for the morning pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for the news. We have another great grizzly reader who has read 13 Sunshine State books. Congratulations to Sutton. She has her brag tags and her picture on the wall of fame. She'll also enjoy a celebration in the game room at the end of the year. Great reading, Sutton. Today's Black History Month spotlight is on Miss Jackson. She has been at Gilchrist for 28 years. She has three children, three grandchildren, one husband, and a cat named Pepper. She loves singing and has recorded two CDs. Thank you, Miss Tawana, for all you do for our school. Now it's time for our Grizzly Weather Report with Layson. Checking our gliz gri Grizzly Weather Station, we have a current temperature of 57 degrees and an expected high of 77 degrees. There's a 2% chance for rain. Now it's time for a Principal's Corner with Miss Mitchell. Good morning, Gilchrist Grizzlies. Welcome to a wonderful Wednesday. Boys and girls, today is National Boy Scout Day. If you are a Boy Scout, today is your day. Boys and girls, yesterday I recognized the second grade uh, group in the cafeteria. Well, today I'd like to recognize Ms. Kerr's class from first grade. You all did a fabulous job in the lunchroom. I'm very proud of you. Continue on with following the rules, Ms. Kerr's class, as well as all my first graders, all my second graders, kindergartners, third, fourth, and fifth graders, everybody, remember to follow the rules when you're in the lunchroom. I'm looking for good rule followers. After uh, the announcements, I will be on the lookout for good rule followers all day. And that's all I have for you today. Read, read, read. <laughs> Good morning again. Today, we will celebrate our fourth grade winners who were caught being respectful, responsible, safe, and a team player. So without further ado, let's congratulate our winners. Botini, Harshini, I'm sorry, in Miss Botini's class, it's Harshini Brzozowski. Is that what we're? I'm sorry. Sorry. I'm used. I'm new to this. Let me start over again. Miss Botini's class is Harshini, and Miss Brzozowski's class is Madden, and Miss Cloud's class it's Abisha. Miss Craner Alexander, Maddox it's William, and Miss Mott Smith's class it's Dominic, and Miss Powell's class it's Destiny. As we begin our day, all Grizzlies will pause to reflect on this thought. Never be limited by other people's limited imaginations. That's by Dr. Mae Jemison, first African-American female astronaut. Your teacher will begin the morning meeting after our moment of silence. Have a great day, Grizzlies. It's me again. Good morning, Grizzlies. It's me again. Grizzlies, I am going to do the kindergarten through second grade question, and Mr. Eli will do our third through fifth. So um, yesterday's answer was Sarah Boone. And so our first winner is Emmy from Ms. Bowman's class. Oh yeah. Our second winner is Madeline Schof from Ms. Bauer's class. Oh yeah, there you go. And our third winner is Grayson from Ms. Hatch's class. Oh yeah. All right, listen up for your question today. Name two things George Washington Carver made from peanuts. Again, name two things George Washington Carver made from peanuts. And please remember to write your name, 
answer and teacher's name on the sheet of paper and place it in the K through two box that's in the cafeteria. All right, Eli, you ready? Mm -hmm. My name is Eli. I would like to say hello to Ms. Maddox. The answer to yesterday's third, fourth, and fifth grade question was, is the Underground Railroad. Our, fir our first winner is Harrison, fifth grade from Ms. Wilborn's class. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Zoe, Zoe, fourth grade, Miss Powell's class. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Shalaga. This Shalaya. It looks like Shalaya from mm. Mr. Miller's class. Oh yeah. Shalaya from Mr. Miller's class. Oh yeah. Today's <laughs> today's trivia question for the third, fourth, and fifth grade is. The the immunity on on the slave ship, La Amistad Day, Amistad helped many people see the injustice of slavery. In July second, eighteen thirty nine, fifty three slaves took over the ship and tried to sail back to Africa, but they were captured and taken as prisoners. By the U.S. Navy, U.S. Navy, a former president defended the prisoner the prisoners in court. As a result, the U.S. Supreme Court agreed that they will return to Africa. Which former states, which which former United States states president defended the slaves who caused the immunity on the slaves ship La Amistad? Again, which form uh, which former United States president defended the the slaves who caused the immunity on the slave ship La Amistad? All right, thank you. And remember, if you want to win, then, then, then tune in. in. Thank you, Ms. Mitchell. Please join us again tomorrow for another edition of Grizzly AM. Have a great day. Bye. Bye.